Today I'll show you how you can find exponent in this TI PA2 plus calculator. To find square of any number we use this x square key. For example if you want to find 5 square then press 5 and this square sign. Here you don't have to press an equal sign to get your result. Let's do it for 8 square. Press 8 and press this x square sign. You have your result. We know that 8 square equal to 64. What if we want to find a value where power is any number other than 2 like 4 5, 6, 7, 8 or any other number. Let's take 5 cube or 5 to the power 3. To find the answer of this 5 cube we have to first press this 5 our number then this y to the power x button. Then our power which is 3. In this case, we have to press this equal sign to get our result. So press equal sign. See, we have our result. Let's do it for 2 to the power 6. Press 2, this y to the power x sign, 6, hit equal, you have your result. You can also calculate value of negative power. For example, if we want to find the value of 5 to the power minus 2, we have to press this 5, then this sign, then 2. Here we have to put a negative sign in front of this 2. To put a negative sign, we have to press this plus or minus sign. See, we have a negative sign in front of this 2. Now hit equal to get your result. Now I'll share with you an important thing. Let's find the result of 5 to the power minus 4. So press 5, this y to the power x sign, 4, and this negative sign. Hit equal, see. You don't have the result. This is occurring because 5 to the power minus 4 is a result which is consists of 4 digits after these decimal points. But in this calculator we have set 2 digits after decimal point. That is why we are not getting the result. So we have to change this format. To change the format we have to press this yellow second then this format change this to to 4 or 6 or whatever number you require and press this enter see we have 4 digits after decimal point now so if we calculate 5 to the power minus 4 now negative sign then hit equal we have our result so when you calculate exponent save these digits after decimal according to your calculation otherwise you will not get the proper result i think this video will help you and thank you for watching